Okay. On this video, I'm going to talk about the regular octagon with the with the vector. Okay. Of course, in order to solve if if your vector question related to the regular octagon, it's very important to uh, for you to know the lengths on between. Okay. Means if this one this one is p, so you must know what is what is this length. Or you must know what is this length. Okay, so all of this length, in order to find out, so I'm going to prove you actually. Okay, what you what you can know is like this. So if this one is this line is a, the length of this one I call it a. So okay, I simply choose one of the line over here. Okay, so this line. Do you see? This full line I draw here. This full line is a plus <coughs> will be a plus square root of two a. Okay. This length we call it a plus square root of two a. Okay. This this is the length. So if this one is b, so this one will be b plus square root of two b. Of course, this one in the Vector question now is in the normal hexagon, all of this is called A because regular octagon means every of this length we have the same length. Okay, so okay, now I prove you how do I get that. Okay, so okay, so what you need to know is okay, let me quickly draw out this one. Okay, okay, let's say this is regular. Okay, even yeah, a bit not that nice. So and then we quickly calculate out the angle. Okay, so this one actually after you calculate out, you will know each angle is equal to one three five. Each angle is equal to one three five. You just remember the formula n minus two multiple hundred eighty divided by n. We got how many sides for a regular hexagon? Ah, uh, sorry, for regular octagon, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight minus two, you got six multiple one two o, and then you got one o one o eight o divided by eight. So you got one three five for for each line. Okay, and then okay after you know the angle, and then I quickly cut out a triangle. I cut out a triangle, and I cut out a triangle over here also. Means what? If this is a, I know definitely this length over here. I will got a. I need to plus, I call this one x, and plus x, then I can get the full length. Okay? Okay, so now I cut out the triangle. So what I will have is, okay, I will have a triangle like this. Okay, here I have a 90 degree. Okay, this one is 135. If I cut here, make it 90 degrees, so here we're left 45. So this one will left 45 over here. Same to here. This is 135. If I cut a 90 degree over here, here I will left 45. Means what? Means actually this is isosceles triangle because both angle is 45. We know these two is the same length. So if this is regular octagon, I let call this one A also because all of this length is A. Okay, if this is A, okay, now we want to find X. So this one over here will be X also. Okay, so you want to use trigonometrics also can, you want to use pythagoras also can because you got a triangle with 90 degree. Okay, let's use trigonometrics. Okay, so we got here is 45. Okay, let's say I want to use cos 45. So cos 45, I use this angle, okay? Cos, so I want to get this, uh, I want to got this x, I want to got this x, and you it must use a because I, I want to find length. So cos 45 will equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. This is hypotenuse. Okay, so cos 45, okay, you if you learn about cos 45 actually equal to square root of 2 over 2. Okay, actually square root of 2 over 2, you press the calculator, you got 0 0.7071. So it's cos 45. 
equal to x over a. Therefore, length of x will equal to square root of 2 over 2a. Okay. Therefore, the length over this one is square root of 2 over 2a. That means this one is square root of 2 over 2a also. That means the full length over here, if I call it, I give a name, ab. So length ab will equal to, okay, x is square root of 2 over 2a, and then we plus the middle one, plus a, then plus the last one, plus square root of 2, plus square root of 2 over 2a. That means these two, we can plus together because both of them, uh, the bottom is over 2. Okay, mean, mean the same denominator. So I got 2 square root of 2 over 2a plus a. That means at the end, 2 and 2 are simplified. I got square root of 2a plus a. Okay, see? Or I call a or square root of 2a. So this is the length of this one. Okay. But in octagon, they are more complicated because, okay, let's, let's say you got, okay, let's say we put some vector question over here. So, okay, I give it some label if you want to make it. Okay, so let's say I call this one A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, if I give you A, B will equal to A, and B, C equal to B. Okay. Okay, so now, I want you to find H, C. Okay, if A, B, okay, if A, B equal to A, and B, C equal to B, so what is H, C? So H, C will equal to H C will equal to I say the relationship is A plus square root two A. Okay, okay. What happens to A D? You want to calculate A D? Okay, A A D the relationship is still the same. Is this is B? So A D we will call it B plus square root two B. Okay, we call it B plus square root 2b. This is their relationships. Okay, so, okay, what happens is I want to, okay, if I call, if I call this one, is, okay, is q. Okay, if this one is q, what happened to, okay, I write here cd equal to q. So what happened to be? be, b E will equal to Q plus square root of 2 Q. Okay? This is what I want you to know about the, the relationship between regular octagon and vector. Because some of the students do not know this and do not under, understand about this one, so they cannot solve this kind of question. So for okay, so for last videos I actually mentioned if for uh, the regular hexagon okay for the regular hexagon if this one is x this one will be 2x so this one very e easy to remember so if this is x this one will be 2x but then for the regular octagon you must see it yourself okay if this is a this one will be a plus square root of 2a okay the relationship is is a plus square root of 2a so if this one is b this line will be b plus square root of 2b so this the, the length and direction for this line and this line is the same also. So if this is b plus square root of 2b, this line will, will, be, will be the same also, b plus square root of 2b. So you have to understand if this is a plus square root of 2a, this line will be a plus square root of 2a as well. Okay, because they're, they're in the same direction, this is just the different length. Okay, so I already proved you why I, I can get this one. So let's say in the exam, you forget how to, you forget about this one. So you can easily cut a 90 degree out and then you'll find out this one is 45 degree over here and 45 degree over here. Then you can, you, you assume this is a length A, then you can easily get the length of here.
Okay, after you got this one, you remember to plus this one and plus a, you will got a plus square root of 2a. Okay, this is the relationship between the octagon and vector. I hope this video can help you. Thanks, thanks for watching.